We're back. My feet are all clean. How about yours? I have my tea. Very important to hydrate. You know that. So if Auntie Susie wants to zoom right in on my feet now on my table and remember painting newspaper or plastic underneath always. What I did is taped another piece of paper underneath of that and then just painted in the spaces where the paper tore and we had to let it dry, right? So there it is. It's ready to go. Now if Auntie Susie wants to just zoom in back in on the lion so we can see it again. What I'm going to do next is the lion's nose and mouth and draw in the eyes. So if you don't want to draw the eyes, you can use googly eyes. I think I will draw mine. I don't know if I'm good at drawing them, but I will. So I'm going to use marker for this. And you can see where the nose is just kind of almost like a heart shape. Right there in between where your heels would be. So I'm going to color that in. My marker's going dry. That's all right. I can fill that in later. And then, whoops, I have to take a line and kind of draw it down. Not all the way down to the bottom, so the line has to have a chin. My paint's still a little wet, I think, on that side anyway. All right, so there is the lion's mouth, or nose, I mean, sorry, nose and mouth, okay. And then you can see right up here is where I'm going to draw the lion's eyes. So they have them kind of like raindrops or teardrops coming down kind of like that. So that's what I'm going to do. Draw another one over here. It's going to come down into a teardrop. And then there's sort of, I don't know, just sort of a shape kind of like that in the eye. <laughs> I don't know how to do it over here. <laughs> it's the opposite direction. And then Oops, I think I need to get some blue. So I'll just go over to my markers. And grab a darker blue. I have one. And I'm going to draw in the rest of the eye. Too many markers, so little time. They're going to fall on the floor now. That's all right. I can pick them up later. There is the dark blue. So I'm just going to take the fat side of the marker and color a little bit of blue in here. It's kind of like that. That's almost a purpley color. And then they have just a little half shape that makes it look kind of like a sparkle in the lion's eye. Okay. And I'm going to do that over on the other side. There. Okay, something like that. It doesn't matter really, just how it might look. And then in the center, they have kind of the color of the lion already. So before I do that though, I still have some paint left over from my foot paint. And I'm gonna use more of this. I think I'll use a different brush. A little more control, see it's so big. But I'm going to just fill in right around the eyes and just leave a little bit of white around them because that's what the picture has. This brush is a little hard. I'm just going to kind of fill that in a little bit to bring it over underneath the eye a little bit.
just like that. They have a little bit of white, so that's okay. And then they have a little part, like it's already part of the hair. This one comes down a little bit too. So I'm going to make that just a little bit of a lighter color. So now we're going to take the color that you had on your feet and we're going to mix in some yellow. Not too much. We don't want it to be a yellow lion, but a little bit just so that the color of that is a little bit lighter. So I'm going to squeeze a little bit of yellow in there and mix it around. I think I might want just a little bit more just to make sure that we can see a difference in the color. You can decide what color you want and how much yellow to put in yours. All right. So, I'm going to take this color now and do what they did before. Just paint a little bit like that. You know what? That's still not yellow enough. I'm going to put some more yellow in. I'll leave that little darker line there, but I'm going to Yeah, that's what I would do. In. That's what I would do. I'm still going to put some more yellow in. Because we want to be able to see the difference in the color as we go. It's okay to have a bit of paint because if you're all doing it together, then you're going to need some more anyway. All right, I think that's a little lighter. And then they just kind of paint that in the center, attach that to that, and make it kind of brushy like hair. So you can see it's kind of fuzzy there on the end. Just like that. And up and through and around the toes. And already we've got some good color there. All right. So then the rest of the lion face is really just taking different color browns and yellows kind of lighter around the edge so I'm just going to start taking this lighter color and painting it here and that's going to be the main the main main you can see I've got a little bit of white around there but that's okay because I'm going to fill that in afterwards. So I'm just going to go all the way around. Make lots of mane. Make it curly and hairy. Doesn't matter if it's completely filled in because we're going to put a different color in here too. So, because, just like I told you when we did something last time, that nothing is ever exactly perfect or exactly the same in nature. Animals' hair is not all the same color, just like your hair is not all the same color. And so already we can see that this is starting to look like a pretty good hairy lion. It looks like that's what Auntie Susie wakes up looking like in the morning with her hair all over. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to let that dry and then we have to come back and do some ears and fill in some of the other darker color of the mane for kind of highlight. So I'll let you do that part, let your paint dry don't throw your other paint away because you might still want to use it. And then we'll be back. See you soon. Bye now.